Ciao Bella! To all those Bellas out there. It's a quick one today in the kitchen. G'day Hayden Quinn, hope you guys are well. Um, this is a classic, delicious, tasty pasta dish. It's a four ingredient pasta. Garlic, tomato, fresh green prawns, some chili flakes, four ingredients. Ha, huh, that's always bull crap because we're gonna need the pasta, so that's five. We're gonna need some cheese, that's six. We're gonna need a little bit of salt, that's probably seven. And you can't have pasta without olive oil. So eight, we're calling these pantry staples and we're making this the four. What do you reckon? Anyway, it's quick, it's easy. You should really have a lot of this stuff at home. Um, I always have a nice big bowl of tomatoes cracking along um, because Jax loves them um, and we eat a lot of them. But uh, today we're gonna use some tomatoes, we're gonna make a pasta. It's gonna be really quick and easy. And the first thing we're gonna do is put our pasta in some salted boiling water. So I've got my salt. I'm just gonna load that up like quite heavily. It tastes like the sea. Happy days, that starts the seasoning process of this whole dish. Um, and this dish should really come together in the same amount of time it takes to cook this spaghetti, um, which I think is about eight minutes. But I don't really ever time it. You just taste it, feel it, cook it how you like it. Al dente is always the go, supposedly. That salt will stir, get the pasta in there. Ciao Bella, to all those Bellas out there. Thank you. Okay, let's get started on the base, which is made up of our tomatoes. We've got some Romas here. We've got some little, uh, what do you call those baby ones? Small ones, what are they called? I'm a mental blank. Cherry sort of style tomatoes. Got some yellow jobbies. Bit of a mix of colors here, good. The riper the better, when they're soft and squishy, they're great to make the base of this pasta sauce. So, a few yellows. Keep your uh, tomatoes on the windowsill in the sun. Keep a little bit of love on them. There we go. Got some red cherries or great, maybe these are grape tomatoes. They don't need to be all the same. Some of the bigger bits you can sort of chop down. But this is gonna make the base of the sauce and it really will just come together with pasta water, oil, and tomato and garlic. So that's the whole, that's the whole jobby. All right, a couple more. Just eyeballing this really. Okay, so tomatoes are done. With the tomato, we're gonna to need some garlic, lots of garlic. Three or four cloves. One, two, three, let's go four, because this is four ingredient pasta. Four, happy days. Give them a little squish, pop the shell off. Too good. And uh, the prawns, you know, you could do this without the prawns and it will still be absolutely delicious. Uh, you got some basil there, pop some basil in it. Really, really tasty. I don't know where you'd include the basil. Is that like a main ingredient or is that just like a one of the extras? Who's that hitting on? Oh, the root. I'm doing it again. Should really cut those off, eh? Get the root bits out. There we go. Garlic, good. Pan, super hot. Olive oil, it's going in there into the super hot pan. Take this stupid thing out, because we need a lot of it. Like I said, the olive oil makes the sauce. The sauce is made with the olive oil and the tomatoes and the pasta water. I think we might need a few more. Maybe I'll do one more big job. Good when you see it in the pan, you can get an idea of exactly sort of what's filling out and what's not. Okay, there we go. A wooden spoon over here. Okay, this one. And it's gonna sizzle, okay? So beware, because the tomato has a lot of water in it, the oil is hot, and that's how it works. The pasta has finally shrunk into its little home. Set the timer. But yeah, we're just gonna work, work the sauce, 
season at this point. Good bit of salt. Tomato loves salt. I'm just going to work the tomatoes for probably three minutes just on their own, just to really come together, get nice and saucy, soften. The pan is hot. There is oil all over my cooktop, but what can you do? We'll clean it later. Garlic is looking good. I'm going to chop it a little bit more, just a little finer, um, just so it really incorporates into that sauce. And then we'll go in, once those tomatoes have really sort of melted away, we'll go in with the garlic. We will go in with the chili flakes. And then we'll check our pasta, see how it's looking nice and al dente. We'll sauce it up with some pasta water. That's all good. Oh, this is going to be so tasty. Now you can obviously add some more complexity to this if you want. Some fennel seeds would be really nice. Um, obviously we talked about basil, that would be delicious as well. But this is sort of like that last minute, oh shoot, we need to have something for dinner, what do we got? Obviously not everyone's got prawns lying around, but you know, still. Speaking of prawns, let's get on to some peeling. I've got a couple here. Um, go as heavy or as light as you want on the prawn inch. Um, I also like to for this dish and a lot of my prawn dishes when I'm doing pasta or even um, risotto I like to cut my prawns into sort of small little pieces um, almost the same size as the grape tomatoes just because I feel like it's easier to eat um, it also prawns are not cheap sometimes it also I feel extends the prawn a little bit it um, makes it feel like there's more, more than what you've got. So that's important. Extend the love. You can also make a really delicious stock from these prawn shells. Great way to use those leftovers. Delicious. Tomatoes are looking so good. I love the fact that we did have a couple of those yellow ones because it just adds another sort of bit of interest to the dish. Yeah. Head off, tail off. Oh, it's not going to come off. That was bad. I sort of think of myself as quite a quick prawn peeler. Green prawns are a little trickier to peel compared to cooked prawns. Two shoot on the way through. You can smell those tomatoes, they're starting to really caramelize, bring out that natural sweetness, some of the water that's inside them is sort of cooked off. Um, and once I get these prawns done, I'll give them one more stir, stir and then we're going in with more flavor. Chili, garlic, perfection. A couple more prawns. Prawns are great. That's a good prawn. What else could you do this with? You could do it with some mussels, which would be delicious. You could do it with some scallops, which would also be delicious. You know, these things that cook really quickly is what we're looking for in this dish. And obviously, keep it just as it is. Can I wash my hands? Get rid of those bits before I do. Excuse me, what? Okay, tomato stir coming up. Nice color, nice love, nice caramelization. Garlic's gonna hit the pan and go absolutely mental. Smell incredible, that goes in there, thank you. Chili, dried chili is great. If you have fresh chili, perfect as well. I want a bit of kick on this one. So go hold back. Too good. Stirry, stirry, stirry. Again, you can see all that oil, the flavor. Oh, look at that. And it's gonna take it off the heat a little bit. Unreal. Check the pasta.
Mmm, it's not far off. Not far off at all. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Yum. Okay, prawns, like I said, just gonna cut them into sort of little chunks. And these guys are only gonna cook in the same amount of time it takes to flash the pasta through the pan, flash the prawns through the pan, season again, add some pasta water, add some parmesan, chuck it in a bowl, serve it up. You're eating in no time. I'm happy, you're happy. Food is delicious. My gosh. Washing hands again. Okay, pasta time. Now I'm not gonna drain the pasta. I'm gonna put my heat back on. I'm gonna get the pan back on the heat. I'm gonna bring the pasta to the pan, okay? So basically what we wanna do is make sure that we get a little bit of that pasta water because that is gonna create and make the sauce. All right, and we can ladle more pasta water in as we go. So we can check it out. But just to get started here, oh no, I was doing so well. Oh no, here we go. Prawns, they go in too. It's like a hand washing marathon. Cool. Tongs come in. Hala is looking amazing. Thorns are just starting to turn. You can see the pink color coming. We need a little bit more oil. We need the pasta water, and then I'm gonna go in with a little parmesan cheese. Oh, I need a better spoon than this. This will do. Control it, Hayden. Happy days. Oh my gosh. As soon as those prawns hit, I also added another layer. Little parmesan at this stage, just to sort of get that going. Little salt. Mamma mia. Oh, that looks insane. It smells insane, looks insane. We're ready to go. We're ready to hit the bowl. I don't know if this is gonna be for one or two or many. Glossy, delicious, beautiful. In they go. Cool, love it. There's the pasta, let me get the best bits. All the prawns and those tomatoes. You can go on top. Come. Unreal. Another little drizzle, thanks for coming. Little parmesan if you're after it. I'm gonna leave it because I've already put some in there. I think it looks good enough as it is. And that for me, well, I've got a fork in here, I do. It's absolutely perfection. It takes as long as it takes to cook that pasta. You got a delicious meal, perfect to share. Perfect with a glass of red. Maybe some of that red, delicious. Mmm. Oh, I love it. Well seasoned. Delicious prawns, sweet tomatoes, balanced, dinner served, four ingredient pasta, plus another four, eight ingredients on the bench. Well cooked, everyone. Thank you. Recipes on the website, hayedenqueen.com.au. There's a whole heap of other recipes, reels, short videos over on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook. So go check them out. Subscribe to the newsletter, get amongst it. See you in the kitchen soon.